Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope that you're all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about some of the best Middle Eastern Arabic fragrances. These are absolutely amazing. They smell so good and they are the perfect dupes for some popular scents. So if you would like to find out more, definitely keep on watching. The first fragrance that we have for today's video is Harim Al Sultan by Kadwaj. Just look at this bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Arabic fragrances really have some of the most gorgeous looking bottles. They feel so luxurious, they're so pretty and they're so affordable. You just can't go wrong. Now this fragrance was created for this oil which was apparently super popular at one point at TikTok. I don't use that much TikTok but either way this one is a gorgeous, super delicious, juicy, fruity oil. You just get like a huge basket of fruits, peaches, passion fruit, pineapple. I get like a tropical fruity mix in here and it's so delicious so juicy so sweet it's the perfect fruity base to layer with your fragrances if you want to add like a little bit of a fruity touch to your scents this is just perfect now compared to the um oil you still get a lot of fruitiness in here but it's a little bit more floral there is a little bit of rose some jasmine but what i get from this fragrance in the opening i get like a huge juicy fruity opening i think of peaches, passion fruit when I smell this one, some pineapple again just similar to the uh, oil but then as it kind of starts to settle down on your skin it kind of reminds me of Wolf Don't Be Shy. It kind of has this like super addictive creamy sweetness about it. It almost smells like orange blossom to me with some marshmallows with some whipped cream. It really reminds me of Wolf Don't Be Shy in a way it's just super delicious, super sexy, still fruity and a little bit floral. This is just the perfect sweet, sexy, fruity floral fragrance. You can't go wrong if you enjoy sweet fragrances and you love fruity scents. You just, you have to try this one. It is absolute perfection. Up next, we have another super fruity fragrance, but this one is not as sweet. It's very fresh and clean. Now, this fragrance is very mm, clean and fruity and floral super uplifting this would be the perfect spring summer scent if you're looking for something that is fruity floral crisp fresh bright uplifting this would just be the perfect one now this one kind of reminds me of creed aventus for her not the same not at all but it kind of has that same vibe and they do kind of share the same notes in here we have a lot of green apple pineapple lemon some rose some jasmine and in the dry down there is vanilla and cedar what i get from this fragrance is this very musky clean fresh fruity floral shower gel it smells so clean it's the perfect scent to wear when you want something light and fresh and uplifting this would be perfect in the heat if you enjoy these type of clean fruity fragrances you would absolutely love this one it's absolutely gorgeous Next up we have Intoxicate and this is another fragrance by Kadouage. This one is a fragrance which is very similar to Kamrach but it's less sweet. So if you find Kamrach to be too sweet for you, you need to try this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is very boozy, a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. Now this one has a cognac note at the top so you definitely get that boozy feel from the scent at the initial spray. There is also an almond note as well which is pretty uh, prominent to my nose. It's nutty and powdery. Then you start to get a little bit of that cinnamon which is a little bit spicy and there is also coconut in this fragrance which is my favorite part it is so delicious it's so addictive it's boozy it's sexy it's powdery we have some vanilla and musk in the dry down with amber this is just the perfect fragrance if you're looking for something boozy a little bit sweet a little bit powdery very sexy very addictive this is just perfection you can't go wrong with this one next up we have casablanca by swiss arabian this one is a very delicious fruity sweet fragrance it opens up with a lot of apple and some grapes it's very very bright, juicy, uplifting and fresh at first. Then you start to get some woodiness, some suede, a little bit of caramel, adding just a little bit of sweetness and some musk. So this one is a fragrance which is very very similar to Silky Woods by Goldfield and Banks. So if you love that fragrance and you're looking for the perfect tube, I highly recommend you to try Casablanca. At first, as I said, it's very fruity. This is where it kind of differs from uh, Silky Woods. But after that initial fruitiness, uh, has faded away you start to get the deep notes the woodiness the suede the muskiness and it's very very similar to silky woods in the dry down this one is super sexy sweet woody a little bit leathery and so delicious 
Coming up, we have a few fragrances by Latafa and the first one is Nebras and this one is a dupe for Eilish by Billie Eilish and honestly I prefer this one more than the um, Eilish one. I find it to be less sweet but still very delicious, cozy, comforting. This one opens up with a huge amount of red berries. You really get those berries, they are a little bit sour, they kind of prevent the fragrance from being too sweet or cloying. Then you start to get this delicious vanilla with some cacao, it's dusty, it's powdery then in the dry down we have some sugar and tonka bean this is one of the coziest perfumes it's super yummy but still not overly sweet it's delicious but it's just very well balanced the berries are absolutely gorgeous in here the vanilla the cacao the tonka bean this is absolute perfection if you love gourmand fragrances but you're looking for something that is not overly sweet but still yummy this one is the perfect fragrance it's so warm and delicious and fruity and powdery it is like a hug in a bottle but at the same time it's very sexy and alluring it's absolutely gorgeous if you love vanilla fragrances this one is a no-brainer now the next fragrance does not need an introduction you all know all about camera ho already this one is a very popular scent by the brand but this one is just absolutely stunning now this is not close to angel's share in my opinion it's a fragrance on its own i always say that it's not a clone for angel's share but it's very delicious it's very addictive it's super seductive it opens up with some spiciness from the cinnamon the cinnamon is very very present at first even though we don't have any boozy notes in this fragrance i still get a huge amount of booziness when i first spray the scent maybe it's because of the cinnamon it's very powerful and strong and spicy and then you start to get those fruity, sweet, delicious dates and praline. In the dry down we have a lot of vanilla with some tonka bean. This one is one of the most delicious yet very sexy and seductive fragrances. It's spicy, it's a little bit powdery, it smells so so yummy. This one has an amazing sillage in the air, it creates the most beautiful, sweet, delicious aroma. To me this one really smells like a delicious box of chocolates. It's so yummy, so addictive. If you love spicy, sweet fragrances, this one is just perfection. Next up we have Ajoat and this one is a dupe for Roses Vanille by Mansera. Now this one is very, very similar to Roses Vanille, but it opens up a little bit sharp. The opening is very strong and sharp and kind of harsh. But as the fragrance settles down on your skin, you start to get this sweet, floral, delicious sugary rose and there is a little bit of fruitiness as well in the dry down we also have a lot of vanilla with some muskiness and some amber this one is very pretty in my opinion after that initial spray you really start to get this sweet sugary rose with a lot of vanilla and some muskiness and a lot of amber it's warm it's addictive it's a little bit woody super sexy if you love rose fragrances with a lot of vanilla sweetness this would be just the perfect scent for you next we have yara and she's perfect for all gourmand lovers who love their sweet vanillic fragrances and even though she's a sweet scent she's still kind of light and airy and smooth and creamy you can wear her during spring and summer in my opinion as well she's not too heavy yara has a little bit of a citrusy opening when you first spray her you get this like sweet tangerine note it's very present for like the first couple of seconds then you start to get a lot of creaminess sweetness it's almost milky in a way we have a lot of tropical fruits in here too to me it smells like a delicious tropical milkshake in the dry run we have a lot of vanilla with sandalwood and musk she is creamy yummy smooth delicious the perfect vanilla scent with a little bit of fruitiness the last two fragrances that we have are by orientica and the first one is fleur di orientica this one is the perfect dupe for Vallea and Fleur Narcotique. If you love these two fragrances and you're looking for the affordable version, this is just the perfect one. Plus this one is like 10 times stronger than Vallea and Fleur Narcotique. It's a powerhouse of a fragrance. When you spray this one on your skin, it will be on you for 10 hours without a problem. It will be on you until you take a shower. It's powerful, it's strong, it's fruity, it's clean, it's citrusy, it's musky, it opens up with some tangerine, bergamot, bright, citrusy, uplifting, then we have some fruit tea with a little bit of peach in there, it's sweet and 
fruity. In the dry down we have a lot of musk with tonka beans. This is honestly the perfect dupe for Balea and Fleur Narcotique in my opinion. A little bit fruity and uplifting and fresh and so musky, so clean, so addictive, so sexy and elegant. And the last fragrance that we have today is Melody di Orientica. This one is the perfect dupe for Sentra by Memo or Love Don't Be Shy by Killian and Oriana by Parfum de Marley. Now this one is a little bit different especially in the opening. When you first spray it you get a lot of Neroli. There is a lot of Neroli in the opening. It's a little bit green and we also have some red fruits um, at the top as well. The red fruits add a little bit of sourness um, in the initial spray. After a while that green sour opening starts to fade away and you start to get this sweet delicious creamy orange blossom with some marshmallows and some vanilla and some musk. It's so yummy, it's so creamy, it's so sweet and delicious. The perfect dupe for Love Don't Be Shy in my opinion. Sugary marshmallows, creamy orange blossom and delicious sweet vanilla. It's absolute perfection. Sexy, sweet, seductive and so yummy. Yummy. So this was all for today's video guys. These were some of my most favorite Middle Eastern fragrances. Please let me know down in the comments what is your favorite Arabic perfume. I would absolutely love to know this. As always, if you stayed up until the end, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time.